Hey everyone, Ben Yinsen here. Today we're going to talk about one of my favorite topics, arpeggios on guitar. I did a live stream right here on my channel over the past weekend where I discussed this topic in great depth. And in case you'd like to have a look at it, you can check it out up here. I'll be doing even more live streams discussing music and a variety of guitar related topics every Sunday. So make sure to join me on the weekend for my next live stream. Before we get started, it would be great if you could hit like on this video so that we can push it out to as many people as possible and continue to grow my channel. And if you've really been enjoying my videos, make sure to subscribe to my channel and click the bell so you don't miss any of my new music or lesson related videos. So today we're going to be looking at three arpeggio soloing approaches on the guitar neck beginning firstly with two triadic approaches and then looking at a seventh chord based approach as well. If you'd like to follow along with these examples, make sure to check out the transcription at my website in three arpeggio soloing concepts you need to know. You can also get my music and my lesson bundle packages at my website as well, including the new modern soloing bundle, which goes into great depth talking about triads and triad pairs. Let's look at our first example, major triads played in fourths. This is an approach to triads that will occur over about a two octave range, and it really assists us in understanding triadic voice leading on the guitar neck. Also, if you feel that you know your triads really well, it also works great as a warm up. As a matter of fact, it's actually something I play through pretty much every day. Let's check it out starting from an F major triad and cycling through 12 keys. Now let's look at our second example, spread triads played in fourths. Spread triads can be a much more open sounding way of approaching triads than what we heard in our previous exercise. And if you're interested in learning more about spread triads, I discuss them in great depth in how to solo with triads, which is part of my modern soloing bundle. You can hear great examples of spread triads being used going all the way back to Bach and in more recent years from great guitarists like Pat Metheny, Eric Johnson, and so many others. I find this to be a great voice leading exercise and I hope you enjoy it too. Spread triads in 12 keys. And finally, here's a topic I've discussed a number of times, but I have to emphasize just how important I think it is. This is an approach to playing seventh chord arpeggios that I like to call two string arpeggios. For example, a seventh chord has four notes in it. So an F major seven arpeggio would have the notes F, A, C, and E. To give you an example, we're going to play the first two notes, F and A, on the low E string. And we'll continue by playing the next two notes, C and E, on the very next string, the A string. And with that, we can play an F major 7 arpeggio over a total of two strings, and it might sound something like this.
Using this approach, you can play seventh chord arpeggios over a total range of three octaves on the guitar neck. And you can also begin a new fingering starting from each degree of the arpeggio itself. Let's check it out with an F major 7 arpeggio. And that's it. If you'd like to check out a transcription of everything I've played for you today, make sure to pick up three arpeggio soloing concepts you need to know at my website. And be sure to check out my music, lesson bundle packages, and everything else as well. If you really enjoyed this video, make sure to hit like down below and also subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my new weekly videos and live streams. And I hope to see you on one of them sometime soon. I'll see you next time.